could have been seven, yeah. could have been eight, maybe even more. Yeah, or, uh, <laughs> but they caught it when it counted. Right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I thought that was very impressive. The, the catch by Bumpus in the back of the end zone, what a night by Chad. I mean, if you go back and look, 180 yards receiving, three touchdowns, and then all of a sudden, you know, he has one drop. Well, you know, walking to meeting, the one thing he's concerned about is one drop. So, mm. obviously, you know, there's some concern there. And, you know, it should be, you know. Can it be contagious? Like you hear basketball, guys miss a shot, another one miss a shot, and then it just kind of – it almost seemed like that's what was happening. Guys were getting wide open and the ball would be there and they were just, just dropping. It, again, you don't want to press too hard. Sometimes yeah. when that ball's sitting up there and you're looking at it, you're looking at it, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. You can't press. you got to play relaxed. you got to go make some plays. You know, what we try to do is put our guys in the yeah. best position to make plays. Tyler's leadership throughout that game uh, – he just seems like he's turned into like a hard-nosed guy. He gets these guys up. He doesn't seem flustered by anything. He's, he's done a really nice job. I've been very pleased with his performance in the last three games. We've, we've been kidding him a little bit when he pulled the ball and he ran down the sideline down there. We thought that was a delay of game, but we're okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> Have you talked to Tyler about that fourth down touchdown play to Tyler? Because Dan has joked. He said, you know, you had the pitch open over here. And Tyler kind of looked at him and said, yeah, Chad was open down the field too. <laughs> yeah. uh, you, you know, it, it was a – I don't think he could have put the ball in another place. It was a really, really good throw. The DB had undercut the route, and Chad adapted and went over him, and Tyler put it over his head. You know, they made the play. I mean, you, when you look at receivers, and we say this to the receivers and, and the quarterback all the time, anytime a coach has to go get involved in a route, then usually it's not going to be really good. As long as the receiver and the quarterback are on the same page, it's going to be a really good situation. We've only turned it over once this year. I mean, I don't know if you just attribute that. Quit saying it. Knock on wood. Attribute that to, to just experience and, and, and that, that sort of thing. Or what? It's experience and knowledge. You know, I mean, he's he's played. Uh, you know, that, that that takes a lot. You know, when we first came in here, we had Chris. And we got Tyler in the game, and, and we used him throughout the year. And I, I thought it was, it's been beneficial for him. You know, there's, there's a hard – you can't substitute playing time. But the other part of it, he earned the right to play. So, you know, he earned that right to play earlier, and we're very pleased with what he did. And he's continued uh, progressing in what he's doing, and we're pleased with it. And nobody else seems to be the same way, just nobody's giving up the ball, just the one fumble by Chris. And... You like bringing that up a bunch. We, we, that's what we try to. Doing a story on it. No, no, that's what we, that, we're very, very, you know, again, that's one of our goals each week yeah. is to take care of the football. You take care of the football, you're going to win football games. I mean, that's that's one of the biggest uh, stats that you look at is turnover ratio. As long as we can be positive in that area, then we have a great chance of winning. Why, why do you that? think Bumpus has turned into the superstar, finally, that everybody thought he was going to be? Well, well you didn't like that word. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean he, he, you know, Chad's played well. You know, and, and again, I think it's maturity. I think it's experience. And I think he's got some confidence. You know, when you're going in and he sees the ball up and he goes and gets it. And I think anytime you can produce uh, confidence or anytime you can get that relationship between quarterback and receiver, it's really good. Yeah, you had seven drops, but I thought everything else in terms of your first road game worked out pretty well. I think you only had one false start. You didn't have very many penalties. You didn't look confused on offense with the silent counts and everything. It seemed like everybody had, had a lot of composure. Yes, I, you know, everybody did. There, You know, we just – if you look at it from half to half, you know, the first half we put some points up, second half we were a little slow, but, you know, that was attributed to some things. We dropped some balls, had some issues there. But, again, I think the kid, the thing I was very pleased about the football team, it could have very easily went the other way, but they responded offensively. And any time you get that, it, it, you know, gives you a sense of confidence that you can respond and come back. I'm sure the guys have asked you about this, you and your time at South Alabama. But just that, that one year you were there, they, they weren't actually playing games, no. I guess. And so what was that? year like for you, you know, being involved in the program, not coaching on Saturdays? Oh, it was tough. I mean, it, you did a lot of fundraisers, you know, which was, was a part of it. I yeah. mean, that wasn't bad. Uh, you know, I thought Coach Jones handled it absolutely great. You know, he uh, – it, it, the funny part, and you'll laugh about this, is coaches were, were very driven. You know, I mean, we always want to do better, we'll find new ideas. Uh, we went uh, – for a whole week to the University of Kentucky and they let us sit in meeting rooms because they were going through early morning practices. So we got to go through and see what other people went through you know, with early morning practices rather than late evening. So there was a lot of education. Uh, got a chance to go to a lot of different staffs. We actually went and watched Troy practice. We watched LSU practice, watched Alabama practice. So we got a chance to, to, to go see all that, how different things are done. And as a coach, there's no one direct way yeah. you do things, but there's a lot of good ideas, and you can steal from those ideas yeah. to implement in your program. And I think Joey's done that, and they were great administration-wise. You know, they'd say, okay, 
you know, I want to go for a couple of days to Florida State or you'll go here, that's great. And we'd go and sit and the coaches were absolutely great. Yeah. Uh, by letting us in and, and sitting down and, and seeing how they did things. Did you learn?